Okay, fun page today. This is my princess page. I want the crown to be an interactive element that will open up. So I'm going to lay my crown where I think I need her to be. And you need a small space between your element that opens up and the page itself. So see, I have a crack here between the two elements. You need that to make your hinge, okay? So I'm going to be using tissue tape. Now, because tissue tape does not adhere permanently, it's a removable tape, I need to lay something down that will really hold that down. So I'm going to use some Scorpal tape. So I'm just laying a strip here, and yeah, I'm probably going to have to come back and do a little editing here with the painting and drawing. So I'm just going to do that, which would be good enough for me. And then you take a little bone folder or whatever that you have and press that down and peel your tapes back. like so okay so now I just need to figure it out I've got a magazine that I am using between the two because it's about the same height I don't want a huge gap just enough to give me some bend when I open up my book okay so that looks pretty good I'm going to take this tape and just lay it down between the two Let's see if I've got that right okay and then a little trick, if you have any tape that's exposed, take a little bit of baby powder and just put over top of that so it won't stick. Or you can sit here and unstick it by your finger, but baby powder I think works the best. <clears throat> I'd like to remove just a little bit of that. I'll have to come back and work on that. Okay, so now I got to do the other side. So there we go. So now she'll have her crown that will flip back and forth. I just got to decorate it and finish that up. Okay, so now let's decorate the crown up a little bit. We've got a little hinge over here. I don't know how this is going to work. Never really have tried to um, 
do this before but I'm going to put some paper underneath here I'm going to use this gold foil paper that came in the January kit as a resist for the Lindy Stamp Gain Starburst Daubers um, this one is the cocoa bean copper and this one is the ponderosa pines olive so if you take these and just go over because i want it to be kind of a random thing here Let's see how they mix because like i said this is new to me i have no idea if i'm going to like it not like it don't know But you can see how the ink beads up over top of the gold foil. And I just didn't want it to be an all white. Colors the tissue paper a little bit. I think I'm going to go for just kind of a coppery. Oh, I don't know how that's translating on the camera, but there's so much shimmer here. It's gorgeous. And of course, I'm not doing this on watercolor paper. This is regular, just scrapbook paper. So my paper is not the best accepting mixed media elements. Okay. just checking to make sure my other side didn't get any ink on it okay so we'll let that dry and come back okay so I've got my crown and I hope that shine from the Lindy's uh, starburst dauber there shows up real well because it has a lot of shimmer to it I'll get a close-up picture of it after it's done so the foil acts as a resist and you can take a paper towel and you know wipe off any that might still be on there but for the most part it just kind of beaded right off and on soaked up into the paper so I really love using papers that have a resist to them lots of fun to ink up you'll see some over here that I'm not sure what that is from the other side I'm not sure if it's the gesso that I use that maybe I got a little gesso on this side I think that might be what it is and it acted even as a uh, stronger resist so I'll probably end up when I play around with my crown doodling over it and everything I'll ink that up so anyway I'm going to make a banner now that's going to go across her crown I have some journaling that I want to do on it a little doodling and I'll be finished um I hope you understood the um, tutorial that I did here on the page extension just make sure that whatever you add as far as your tape that it's nice and strong so that it can really hold it you know for a lot of use um, you'll notice that I had cut this off because I have a tendency if I slide my journal in it might hit the back of something and I just didn't want it to be sticking out I didn't care about it sticking out over the top but I did on the side here. That was just a preference. You can leave yours hanging off. Um, make sure that you leave a little space between whatever you use to tape your two pieces together so that you have a hinge. Okay, so that it will fold over nice and easy. Um, I wouldn't use a piece of paper per se because I think that after you sit there and fold paper back and forth, back and forth, it would tear eventually. So, um, just kind of keep that in mind. I think washi tape works real well as far as flexibility, but it does have to be really adhered and glued down somehow. So I used the Scorpow tape and it colored, you know, fairly well, I think. On this side here, I just used my Delusions inks, which I had on my little tray here with my water brush and just colored those back in. I'm going to go back over with my stencil and do the hearts that go back up the edge over here again on top. I just haven't done that yet. And 
other than that I'm basically finished with my page you can check out the short video slideshow if you want to see how to do her and I hope that you make one it doesn't matter what you do. you don't have to do a face and you don't have to do a crown you can do let's say a garden with flowers and maybe this would be a butterfly or another flower that laid on top of it or a birdhouse um, there's all sorts of things I can think of to do a Sun if you wanted to do some type of um, maybe birds or butterflies here and maybe do some you know folding out over here all sorts of things just keep in mind it's got to be folded okay you've got to have some type of flat edge here that you can make your extension tape to hold it onto okay so anyway hope you have a great time playing with it hope you enjoyed it you can watch me doodle now if you want to and create the banner otherwise i'm through for the day talk to you later hope you have a great time playing in your journal hope you share it with us over on the frosted designs facebook page we love to see it and we love talking with each other so enjoy have a great day see you next week bye